hello dear friends welcome back to high point again so we have started with the uh, plays by william congreve today in this video we will learn the double dealer uh, one of the plays written by congreve himself before get digging into the video let me uh, tell something about my website because uh, in our website we are sharing lot of study materials which are relevant for nt ugc netgr of english language and literature and if you are looking for some online materials this is a best destination you can have uh, all these materials the pdf materials the audio lectures and the previous and practice practice question papers in an affordable uh, price with a 15 percentage of off and and with lot more free bonuses as well go and visit the website the link to the website is there in the description box you can click it and go okay and also follow me on instagram there too we are already we have already shared a lot of materials lot of variety of materials for your NTA UGC net of english language and literature preparation and also contact me in this number if you wanted to know anything further related to the website the study materials the courses that we are sharing or any other contents that you want to have in my youtube YouTube channel okay if you are a first time listener and you have not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe to it and also press the bell icon while you subscribe so that you get a notification whenever we upload something in here okay and also press the like button after hearing the entire video after seeing the entire video if you like this if you liked this press the like button as well and also share this video to your needy friends and family members okay so double dealer is a comic play it's a comic play by whom William Congreve. William Congreve belongs to which age? The Restoration Age. That's what we are learning now. It was first produced in 1693 and Henry Purcell set to its music. Actually, the music was done by Henry Purcell. Not that important point, but still. On 14th May 1995, BBC Radio made an adaptation. So that's another point related to uh, the double dealer. Usually, we don't find we won't find double dealer in ma syllabus because uh, more than the double dealer any other play by william congreve the important play by him is uh, the way of the world in the upcoming video we will see that in detail okay we will learn that in detail now let's go into the plot summary of the play i have not given the detail very detailed scene wise act wise summary but we will see the important events happening one by one in the plot of the play okay lady touchwood so one of the characters name is lady touchwood is infatuated with her husband's nephew Melafont and confesses her uh, adore to him. Actually, Lady Touchwood has some sort of soft spot, of soft spot or some kind of likeness infatuation to her uh, husband's nephew, known as Melafont. Another character is Melafont, and she expresses that Melafont, who pledged himself to Cynthia, but see Melafont, uh, he wanted to woo and marry Cynthia, daughter of Sir Paul pliant okay rebukes lady touchwood whereupon she attempts to end her life with his sword so actually she she is so superficial she's already married and she's having a crush upon uh, her own husband's nephew malafon and malafon is in love and she he wanted to pursue cynthia daughter of uh, sir paul pliant so after hearing, after having this rejection, Lady Ratchwood, she acted in such a way that she attempted uh, suicide with his sword, Malafon's sword. When he prevents her attempt, she wove revenge. So he naturally prevents her attempt of dying and upon that she vows she pledges revenge fearing the designs of lady touchwood malafon engages his friend careless see another character is careless who is who is he he is uh, malafon's friend to keep lady pliant cynthia's stepmother away from lady touchwood so he expected malafon to actually feared that see touchwood would do something in order to make a distance between Malafon and Cynthia. So he wanted careless to keep Lady Pliant away from whom Lady Touchwood because Lady Touchwood may go and tell something against Malafon to Lady Pliant in order to, you know, in order to prevent the union between Malafon and Cynthia, okay, in order to create some bad impression of Malafon. So he conferred this duty to keep Lady Pliant away from Lady Touchwood upon whom careless his friend careless see look at his name that shows his character as well careless reveals his uh, distrust of mask maskwell see another character is maskwell maskwell maybe he disguise 
uh, a lot that he never displays his character true character to people okay that's what he got the name maskwell melaphone's friend who is under obligation to lord touchwood so uh, careless then reveals that he never trusted a maskwell nobody can trust maskwell if that is his character and melaphone's friend another friend is maskwell but careless reveals his distrust distrust of maskwell and maskwell is under obligation to lady touchwood lord touchwood so maskwell uh, maskwell is under obligation he has some obligations to lord touchwood we can't say that because lady touchwood can say something to lord touchwood and in that way um, something can happen so that careless can't uh, do anything out of sheer spite lady touchwood gives herself to maskwell so what happens lady touchwood uh, wanted to have something so wanted to do some revenge and also lady touchwood uh, he straight goes and he gives herself to maskwell in return maskwell promises to help lady touchwood by insinuating to lady pliant that melaphon really loves her not her step daughter cynthia see uh, lady a uh, pliant she is step mother to whom cynthia so maskwell in return to the favor that uh, lady touchwood uh, has done to him maskwell promises to lady touchwood that you know sh- he will create the impression to lady pliant that melaphon is in love with her not to her step daughter cynthia so that will create many confusion and many problems as well right lady touchwood's plan begins to work so this was lady touchwood's plan see if melaphon rumored to have a likeness or love or some kind of crush towards lady pliant then lady pliant never will agree to uh, marry off cynthia to whom Uh, melaphon so that was uh, touchwood's plan and lady touchwood was so successful and the plan it was begin to work lord sir paul pliant and lady pliant expresses indignation when they uh, are told that melaphon desires lady pliant so you know it was like um, they don't like the idea nobody will like right sir paul pliant and lady pliant they actually became so indignant that they Uh, when they know that melaphon desires lady pliant actually lady pliant is flattered so La- lady pliant even though she expressed uh, the in- indignation that she, you know t- outwardly but she was inside inside her she was so flattered and merely pretended anger but she is nevertheless shocked by that melaphon intends to marry cynthia for the ultimate purpose of cuckolding sir paul so even though lady pliant was so flattered and she merely pretended the angry anger towards uh, melaphon but uh, she became so shocked that melaphon is just pursuing cynthia and wanted to marry P- cynthia in order to make uh, love with lady pliant in order to uh, you know uh, cuckold sir paul uh, pliant she rebukes him but at the same time she tells the puzzled young man not to despair so she prevented she tried to prevent pursue cynthia because in order to get hi, in order to get uh, lady plan there is no need that you marry cynthia or pursue cynthia so she uh, you know she wanted to prevent him any that kind of things but she also told him that there is no need of any despair because you can have me i don't have any objection but you know it was like a puzzle to whom melaphon melaphon Do, uh, does not know uh, lady touchwood's plans and all maskwell reveals to melaphon that he is lady touchwood's agent in provoking trouble but he does not reveal his real purpose which is to create general confusion and to win cynthia's hand so maskwell as his name shows he reveals that re- reveals to melaphon that he is lady touchwood's agent in this whole trouble happening but actually his intention is not to create any problem and prevent make melaphon like lady uh, touchwood and all but his real purpose is to win the hands of cynthia that he never reveals because he is a person who masks well lord touchwood refusing to believe that his nephew plays a double game is scandalized when lady touchwood recommends can- cancelling the marriage on the grounds that melaphon made improper advances to her 
so larry touchwood says that he is improper and he did many things he made uh, improper advances to cynthia and many things he she says but low touchwood he had at most believe at most trust upon his nephew malafont and but lady touchwood was so adamant that she wanted to cancel the marriage between malafont and cynthia on the grounds that he made improper advances to her okay mask well instructed by lady touchwood in gratiates himself with low touchwood by saying that he defended lady touchwood's honor and prevailed on malafont uh, malafont to cease his unwelcome attentions so actually mask well as an agent of lady touchwood that low touchwood is unaware of so uh, he goes and tells to uh, low touchwood uh, as instructed by lady touchwood that malafont uh, tried to offend lady touchwood and he was defending her so and so many things okay so masquel to further his plans tells malafond that his reward for assisting in the breakup of malafond's marriage to cynthia is the privilege of bedding with lady touchwood so he again goes and reveals to malafond that why he did and how he could do all these things because he had sexual relations with lady touchwood so i he has to re, you know repay he has to do something in exchange of that favor so it's a win win for maskwell he got a chance to get uh, along with lady touchwood and he is going to get a chance to you know make a break up between malafond and cynthia through that he will also get cynthia's hand see he will create such situations when lady when lord planned frustrated by lady plans vow to remain a virgin complains to careless that she does not have an heir careless vaguely promises to see what he can do in the matter so lady planned she vow she vowed that you know she will remain virgin she is the step mother to cynthia and they don't have any heir that means any son they don't have any son so lord planned wanted a son so lady planned he is she is not ready to assist him in that she is not ready to have sexual contact with him and careless when lord planned was saying this to careless she, he vaguely promises to see that he what he can he can do anything right it was lord planned should do and lord planned and lo lady planned should do something about it but carelessly careless says that you know let, let him see what he could do in this matter so he mainly says that he can you know make lady plan pregnant after having an affair and all malafond to escape the evil that is brewing impatiently urges cynthia to elope with him although she refuses she promises to marry no one but him so malafond he is so confused and puzzled and he doesn't know how to escape from this so he impatiently urges cynthia to elope with him somewhere and she refuses of course and she promises to marry but she promises that she won't marry anyone else other than malafond then she challenges malafond to thwart his aunt and to get her approval of their marriage he promises to get lady touchwood's consent and uh, that night so then uh, cynthia did another thing that she challenged malafond to thwart his uh, aunt and get uh, her approval of their marriage and she promise and you know malafond promises to do so and she he promises that he, some way or other he will get uh, a kind of consent from lady touchwood lady planned meanwhile consents to an assignation assignation with careless so lady planned she is reluctant to have sex with lord planned but she is open to any other man so lady planned she con gives he, she gives consent to an assignation with careless when lord planned appears careless gives her ca secretly a note containing direction for their meeting so in between lord planned comes and careless gives secretly a message a paper a secret message to uh, lady planned you know as, uh, as it contains containing directions of their meeting lady planned anxious to read careless letter asked her husband for a letter that he received earlier she was so eager to read that letter lady planned asked about that letter that he got that lord planned got earlier pretending to read her husband's letter she reads the one given to her by careless by mistake she returns her lover's letter to husband so actually uh, 
लॉर्ड प्लाइंट गेव द लेटर टू हर एंड शी प्रिटेंडेड दैट शी इज रीडिंग द लेटर गिवन बाय हर हजबेंड ओके एंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग यू नो बाय मिस्टेक शी रिटर्न शी शुड हैव रिटर्न द हजबेंड्स लेटर टू हर हजबेंड लॉर्ड प्लाइंट बट इन ए मिस्टेक वॉट शी डेड शी रिटर्न हूस केयरलेस लेटर to her husband so now the letter is in uh, his hand what happens next when she discovers her mistake she reports it it in alarm to careless but lord plant already read the letter so what happens she returned when she discovered this mistake it was too late and she reported this mistake to careless but lord plant already read this letter lady plant insisted that it was part of an insidious plot against her reputation and after accusing her husband of arranging to have it written in order to test her fidelity she threatens uh, th threatens divorce so what happens lady uh, plant suddenly changed her plight and said that it is a, a plan that made by uh, lord plant himself in order to test her fidelity and it is a uh, Uh, plot that uh, that was done against her reputation she has nothing to do about it and after saying that she said uh, that uh, she will uh, divorce from him she threatens to have a dis divorce from him careless pretends that he wrote it in lord plant's behalf to test his wife's virtue foolish as he is lord plant is not without suspicion of his wife and careless so Carlos also supported this idea that he wrote this letter as Lord Plant wanted to test his wife's virtue, because earlier Lord Plant also said that he wanted to have an heir, and Lady Plant is not supporting him in that. So Carlos was also doing uh, supporting this idea, this uh, excuse made by Lady Plant, and you know Lord Plant he acted foolishly. that he accepted this idea but L lord plant was not without any uh, suspicion of his wife and careless that night melaphone conceals himself in lady touchwood's chamber what was he about to do let's see when she enters expecting to find a mask well melaphone reveals himself lord touchwood informed by mask well then appears so what happens um you know he was expecting maskwell maskwell and Mel uh, lady touchwood they were having affairs so uh, you know who uh, melaphone was expecting maskwell with lady touchwood in that chamber but he was not there but what happened informed by lord touchwood maskwell appeared when who mel melaphone revealed himself when he threatens his nephew lady touchwood pretended that the young man is out of his wits not suspecting maskwell treachery lady touchwood later tells him of her lucky escape so um, you know lady touchwood says that the young man is out of wits and uh, we don't know what is happening so he narrowly escaped from that you know issue Maskwell in a purposeful soliloquy reveals to Lord Touchwood his love for Cynthia. So he was making a soliloquy. He is uh, thinking loudly, and he knows that Lord Touchwood is there listening to him, and he revealed his love for Cynthia through that soliloquy to Lord Touchwood. Now, duped, the old man named Maskwell his heir and promises to arrange a marriage between Cynthia and the schemer. So he did a trick with Lord Touchwood, and the old man fell into it, and uh, he named Maskwell as his heir, heir and promised to arrange a marriage between Cynthia and Maskwell. Lady Touchwood learns Maskwell's treachery when Lord Touchwood tells her that he intended intends to make Maskwell his heir. So Lady Touchwood is unaware about this, uh, you know, subplot of Maskwell in this whole. uh trick and the whole plan lady touchwood got alarmed after hearing from lord touchwood that he is going to make a maskwell of his heir and to uh marry of cynthia to him so she got betrayed and lady touchwood urges her husband never to consent to cynthia's marriage with anyone but melaphont so lady touchwood very well knew that melaphont is a good ca character and it was she and maskwell who was who were trying to make melaphone's reputation bad so lady touchwood urges her husband lord touchwood that 
nobody should marry uh, cynthia except melafont he she is very well aware that masquel is a bad charactered person okay masquel still pretending to be melafont's friend makes his final move by plotting with the unwary melafont to get cynthia away from her house so what happens uh, masquel still still pretends that he is melafont's friend and melafont's unaware about that masquel is also doing plans to get cynthia's hand his intention being to marry her himself he privately tells cynthia that melafont will be waiting for her in the chaplain's chamber so she he is doing everything to get cynthia and he goes to cynthia and he privately tells that cynthia uh, should be there with melafont in the chaplain's chamber because in the chaplain's chamber melafont is waiting for her careless checks masquel carefully a laid plans however then discloses masquel's villainy to the young lover so careless is hearing everything uh, what is masquel is saying and uh, you know he also closely checking the plans made by uh, masquel and you know because he, she he is careless he is careless about anything but he goes and reveals carelessly reveals masquel's villainy to the young lovers who cynthia and melafont they are the young, young lovers right cynthia and lord touchwood in uh, concealment of here lady touchwood rebuke masquel for his betrayal of her and um, you know eventually she tries to stab her lover but is overcome overcome with emotion what happens uh, lady touchwood and masquel they were talking in private but cynthia and lord touchwood they were overhearing them and in the conversation lady touchwood says many things to masquel and says about uh, his betrayal of her and eventually she was trying to stab her but overcome with uh, emotion she uh, never did that masquel then reveals the meeting place where melafont uh, in the disguise of a person will be waiting for cynthia so that's what he say he is doing then lady touchwood planning to disguise herself as cynthia hurries away to meet melafont there so he, masquel is planning something and lady touchwood knew that masquel went to melafont and says that you know melafont is in the disguise of person is waiting for cynthia in a place in the meeting place in that uh, chaplain's chamber chaplain's uh, chapel and all so let it touch would he went in the disguise of cynthia and she is going to meet melafont lady touchwood knowing of her plan puts on a chaplain's habit and confronts his wife then she comes to make our tours to the man she uh, supposes is melafont so she is in the dress of cynthia lady touchwood and lord touchwood after overhearing the conversation with masquel and uh, whom lady touchwood he is aware of the plan that uh, lady touchwood is going to do you know she is going to meet with uh, melafont in the disguise of cynthia so lord touchwood he dresses as a chaplain and she that means it is supposedly melafont should be in the in the disguise of the chaplain right but it was lord touchwood and after when lady touchwood met with lord touchwood in the disguise of a chaplain she thought that it is melafont and she was making overtures and advances to him the whole plot is uncovered and masquel the double dealer is unmasked so who is the double dealer in here masquel is unmasked melafont declared of all suspicion sorry mas ma masquel cleared of all suspicion takes india on his own for his own so what happens now lord touchwood is aware of every other plan made by masquel and lady touchwood so he revealed every other plot he uncovered the double, double dealer masquel and he unmasked him his plots and melafont was cleared of all suspicion uh, towards the end and also he also got whom cynthia so who is the double dealer masquel so that's that was about the play the double dealer by concrete i hope the plot was clear to you the characters names are also clear to you remember the important characters and the events happened in the play this is not that important play but i have seen couple of questions from this in the previous question paper so do listen to the video fully and also if you like this video press the like button and also subscribe to my channel visit my website follow me on instagram and if you have any doubts queries question 
and doubts you can comment that in the comment below or use this whatsapp number to reach out to me okay meet you in the next video session until then stay tuned to high point and be happy guys tata bye bye